All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at another brand new 2022 Lee Max Last Ditch Tow Truck. Let's get into it. Okay, so the last ditch tow truck, I have not heard many people talking about this piece, and I'm pretty sure it's probably because of the price point, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. However, this thing is really cool, and we're gonna talk about it right now. So here we go, some of the facts off the top are, it was released in 2022. The SKU number is 23581. Now for some dimensions, we have 2.36 inches high, 5.12 inches wide, wide and 2.36 inches in depth. Don't let those size numbers fool you. This thing is really good size. Product type, table pieces, and it is made of resin. There is absolutely no power or sound with this thing, so we will skip that. But as for your price, it is averaging between 20 to $30. So uh, at Michael's, I think it was $29.99 uh, before any coupons or anything like that. And I think for an accessory like this, or it's, they're calling it a table accent, but it really kind of feels more like an accessory. Um, I think $30 was a tough number for most people to justify for this. Look, it wasn't sold in stores either. So it was kind of working against itself because it has a crazy high price point. You couldn't go see it in your local store. And therefore, I think it made it hard for people to wrap their head around a $30 tow truck. You know, I think when we think of this tow truck, we kind of see it as buying a figure almost, right? It's just one of those kind of style accessories. But when you see it in person, it's absolutely not. It's not small like an accessory, but it's not so big where it's going to be out of place. But it's jam packed with details detail, it's good size, it's heavy duty, you know, I, I think that it really hurt the hype of this thing because this was one of those items that you had to see in person, you know, when you look at it online or something like that, you can't tell the scale of it, and like myself and I think many of us out there, we would just assume it's no different than kind of buying a figure, so why would it be 30 bucks? So anyways, that's just a little quick rant for you on the price point. So with that said, now it's time we take a closer look. Okay, so here we go, prepare yourself. And, and I really want you to understand, this thing is nowhere near as small as you would think it would be. It's, I understand once I saw it, why they classified it as a table accent. Uh, you know, at first I was like, isn't it an accessory? You know, it's something that you, you know, put in the town of your village. Uh, no, it's definitely bigger than that. So uh, here we go. Starting from the front, there is already a bunch to see. It has a really cool like golden style grill on the front. Uh, I don't know if that's used for scooping up cars or, or what or snow, who knows. Very cool though. Uh, as far as the detail in the hood and things like that, unbelievable. Uh, the color scheme is great. I love all the little red indentions there. They really went to town on trying to dial this thing in. Uh, there's also a motor that sticks out that almost kind of looks like a gun to some degree, but nonetheless, it's really cool. It seems to be the right size for this piece as well, so the scaling was really well thought out on this one. Now as you look at the windshield, it's cool because on one side where the character is actually sitting inside, it's like broken out, it's busted. On the opposite side, it matches like that gold from the front, like almost like this netting or something like that. I mean, this thing is really old, it's broken down, it's barely running, but something's not quite right here with this spooky tow truck, if you will. All right, uh, on top, it has some cool little lights that do not work, let me be clear. It doesn't actually light up, but they do look cool. It has like a beacon and two little, I don't know if they're fog lights or what they are, but some kind of overhead lighting. Uh, there's also like these bull horns. I think that is cool. Uh, the one thing I would have changed about the bull horns is I think they should have been bigger to fit the scale. They seem a little smaller than I think they probably would be in real life, but they still look really cool. As you start making your way to the sides of this thing, you're gonna notice everything from these tires that have like these gold and silver rim style things, very nice. And the color scheme continues with like that red and you know, I don't know, it's like a gray chalk kind of feel or something like that. Really, really nice. Also, um, you'll notice that on the side of this thing, you can see on the hood, I know I'm jumping around, but from the side, you can see the last ditch logo on the side of this thing when you look from the side. So I just said side like 50 times, so we'll move on. Anyways, continuing down, you're gonna see another busted out window. I mean, guys, the detail is everywhere. There's also a really cool last ditch logo on the doors. 
really detailed. I mean, that's the thing that justifies the price. It's bigger and it's heavy, heavily detailed. All right, now to the tow truck portion of this thing. Really nice. It has a one of the, I guess, uh, and a driver. Well, he's not the driver. He's already a driver. So some kind of assistant to the tow truck driver riding on the back of this thing. And he looks like he's pulled right off of the last ditch gas and salvage house, which is really, really nice. I love the effect that it has of him kind of standing up there looking over, you know, like they're going to get their next tow, you know. Uh, as far as the hook and the tow mechanism itself, it's really proportioned well for this tow truck. I like it. Some may think it might be slightly small, but I think for what you going to get in this package it's appropriate so it looks good it's black kind of offsets things a little bit um guys come on look at all of these little intricate details everywhere on this thing um i do want to talk about the barrels in the back uh they're green and they stick out a little bit because the tow truck itself is really run down and old and kind of like in the backwoods if you will and the green barrels kind of they're really clean they're really clean. They're not huge or anything where I'd be like, oh, you know, that's a complete miss. Don't buy it. No, 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 no. This is a piece you're going to want, especially if you have the gas and salvage house. Oh, this is a must have to go with it. No question. My only point was just that the oil things themselves are a little clean uh, in contrast for the rest of the tow truck itself. So I'm going to just try to show a couple different, you know, slideshow pieces of this little thing because there's not too much I can talk about. But, you know, the bumpers in the back match that gold color. You know, there's a nice scheme of colors here. Very consistent. Uh, you know, the driver in the window is also very detailed. You know, they really tried to justify every penny of this thing. And, and yes, it does go back to price because at the end of the day, there's a $30 paywall in front of this thing. So let me let me give you some final thoughts. This thing is really well made. It feels super heavy duty. I think the level of detail is going to surprise you. It's above and beyond what I was expecting. You know, when I bought this, I thought it was cool, you know, online and I thought I'd take a risk on it, you know, and I call it a risk because the price point at the time, you know, made me kind of feel that way. But in person, it was completely justified. If you have the gas and salvage house, this is the accessory to go with it. I would say get this accessory to pair with your house. If you can only pair one accessory with one of your houses this year, this is probably going to be that one. I know there's accessories for the gloom room and stuff like that, which we will review at some point here on this channel. I think a lot of them are going to be great. And trust me, if it was up to me, everybody would have everything. But you know, in the event that you have to pick and choose what accessories you can get to go with your house is, this one, this is one that I think people, when they go by your village, will look at. They'll point it out I'm like, wow, you know, that's really neat. And it fits that house really well, you know. On the flip side of the coin, guys, I would just say that, you know, like I said, I think the green barrels were a little too clean. I know a lot of us are, you know, can go in and kind of repaint things. And if, hey, you know, maybe dry brushing some black would do well on that. But no big deal, whatever. And, of course, there's no lights or soundtrack. So, you know, when, when you're thinking about this one... If you buy the, the, the house, the last ditch gas and salvage, there's no question you should get this piece. If you didn't buy that house, well, then I would tell you, you know, if you can get a 40% off coupon, it's a fun accessory to have, but it's not going to make or break your village. But I'm telling you guys, if you got the house, you have to at least give this thing a shot. Like, it is super exciting. I don't know why I'm so hyped on it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. I will, no question. Pair it up with the Last Ditch Gas and Salvage, and I will put both of those right next to the Wasteland Pub. That's right. So it's going to be a killer, killer mixture. I just am blown away by this piece. It's totally justified. So take a look. Do some research yourself. You know, I think it's worth the risk. Totally up to you. Before we go, I would like to read you the story that Lamax has online about this piece. It's real cute, kind of short, but just check it out. Even the undead have a little car trouble from time to time. If you should find yourself broken down on the road to hell, then the last ditch tow truck team will be there to help you in no time at all. Don't let the busted look of the tow truck fool you. These zombie mechanics from Spooky Town definitely know what they're doing. As for the price, maybe an arm and a leg will do? And that's right. It ends with a question mark there. So uh, cool story, guys. I thank you so much. I know I'm a terrible reader, but that's OK. I appreciate your time. Your support is next level. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.